I'll talk about dog. Um, this is average. It's it's not great. It's hard to hate though because like there's a puppy. Um, Jenny Tatum's charming. Like, I, I I he's you know a little too charming at points. He can, can get like, kind of over the top. But, like it's it's fun. It felt very much like dad humor. Um, not in the sense of like dad jokes, but like things that like you know. Uh, I'm just making a massive generalization about all dads, but like people that were born in like the eighties and nineties would probably think we're like pretty funny, especially if you're an American. Um, I was in the theater with lots of people that were, you know, probably between the ages of like 40 and 60, um, you know, it probably may, may or may not like, uh, definitely saw a couple of like U S military hats and like, they, they loved it. So like, I, I was not the target audience for this film, um, but I I still had a fun time with it. Like it just it feels at times like it's just like a collection of bits, right. um, uh, and then in like the last thirty minutes it tries to become dramatic, which with the story that it's trying to tell, um, this guy bringing home the dog like a dog for like his friend's funeral, like it's like very dramatic piece, it, but it feels like a like a little bit of tonal whiplash going from like this fun like quirky thing um to just being like you know now we're going to try to make you cry um and i wish they would have delved more into the dramatic bits because it dives a little bit into like uh his mental health um tanya tatum's character and like the the effects of like what you know war and like the military did to him and how he's like grappling with those things um and trying to push those things aside um and it's really really interesting there's a there's a part of the film where like he has like a seizure and like tatum crushed it like he did very very good with it he also directed the film um there's you know he's like estranged from like his family because of like these reasons and like uh it talks about like homelessness within like the military like there are like glimpses of like some really really interesting things but then it just kind of like moves by them and then makes a joke and it's like ha, okay now like let's 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 forget about all the sad stuff let's just have a fun time so like i think that there was a really really interesting movie in here i think there was something that could have been like very good um it just never got all the way there for me i still i still didn't hate it also this movie shot very well um it's from uh it's from the cinematographer behind drive and the five bloods um just a a couple of um but like i he, he still he still brings a lot to this movie um i'm i'm i put it in my letterbox review i sadly forgot about the i sadly forgot the guy's name um but there's a newton somewhere in there um it's three names i think newton's one of them uh you can find it in my letterbox review or google it um though if you google dog cinematographer it will bring up uh, ari wagner for power of the dog so um you know you'll find it eventually um but it, like uh he brings a lot of really interesting uses of light um and like reflection in this uh there's some there's some very fun shots um there's like an interrogation scene where there's like a one-way mirror um and how he uses the reflection on that is really interesting um and Channing tatum's having a seizure he uses like neon lights in a really interesting way to like reflect off of him and like the dog's eyes uh, which is really cool. It felt very reminiscent of Drive with all the neon, um, the neon like lights and everything, uh, and all the fluorescent lights. So like, it's a, it's a very well shot film. Um, so like, I enjoyed my time. It's it's a little long for like it feels long for being an hour forty because it's only like an hour forty, probably like an hour thirty five, hour thirty without credits. Um, yeah it feels a little bit long it definitely drags and i think that has to do with just like the series of bits not all of which were that funny there there were a couple of funny moments but like i i think also because the humor didn't work as well for me it felt a little bit long but overall i didn't i didn't hate it like if if you were in tr- if you felt interested by the trailer you're probably going to like it if you weren't that interested by the trailer you probably won't i'm 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 at like a solid five and a half, six. It was, okay. it was fine. It was, it was okay. 